everybody. This is Ashley with Ashley Does It All. And if you're visiting this channel for the first time, please like, share, and subscribe because on this channel, we focus on beauty, style, fashion, and inspiration. So listen, y'all, I was thinking about just my crisp white button down and the multiple ways that I could wear it. So I decided to come on and show you guys today five different looks on how you can take your white button down and take it from day to night, from elegant to casual. Y'all, let's just go on and dig in. Okay, so before we get into it, I decided to show you guys um, my outfit of the day. Uh, a lot of you guys are asking me, can you still tell me what you're wearing today? Um, show me what you got on. I just kind of want to get some little style tips. So um, as you can see here, uh, I am wearing just a really, really easy crisp. I don't know if you guys can see um, the color here, but it really is like it may show white because of the light. But it's like a, a, a baby doll pink uh, bodysuit with a navy blue pin stripe, but it's a wide stripe. Um, high-waisted high-waisted pair of um, slacks and my black flats from Sheen of course pairing it with the black hat but this time styling it up with some hoops went to dinner um, with the kids but still wanted to be stylish but I also wanted to be um, trendy and classy at the same time so this is the outfit of the day I think the hoops came from H&M the hat you can visit pattypage.com um, the necklace um, came from Sheen and I think the bodysuit was thrifted and these high-waisted wide, uh, high-waisted slacks came from H&M. So this is the outfit of the day. Now let's dive into look one on how to style your crisp white button down. Okay guys, so here I am with my classic white button down shirt. Uh, one of my favorite go-to pieces. And I feel like everybody should have at least one classic white button down shirt in your wardrobe. Um, I paired it with just one of my favorite pair of jeans. Um, I love the distress of the jean, but as you can see here, I've really not done anything with it. It's just the shirt, and this is often how I see people wearing just a basic, simple white button down. Um, now, yeah, the hat is kind of leveling it up a little bit, um, and so are the earrings, um, and so are the jeans. If you can see, I love them. They're got a cute high waist, got my bung, got the groceries looking like I just went to the grocery store. Give me a good lift, right? <laughs> but um, the shirt is just hanging. Uh, so what can we do with this, y'all? So uh, check it out. This is the first look of how I'm styling up just this basic white shirt with this high-waisted jean. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I have taken this basic white button down. Y'all, is this not adorable? Do you see what I've done? Instead of just wearing the shirt, just letting it hang, even though I had a cute pair of blue jeans with it, uh, what I did was I took this belt. Yes, <laughs> yes, I did. This belt is doing something for me on today. Uh, but I got this cute belt I ordered off of Sheen. Um, again, another Sheen accessories. And remember, accessories are the difference with an outfit between day and night. They can kill a look or they can easily give your look some life just by adding a simple accessory. This belt was on Sheen. Um, I will make sure to link it if it's still available. You can go to Sheen, get this belt. This belt is so yummy. Um, it is a dupe but it is nonetheless uh, a great buy that Sheen is offering right now that will level up any white button down shirt. I took the collar, as you can see, I just kind of lifted the collar up just a little bit. Uh, we're not going back to 1965, but we can steal some of their looks. Uh, now, the one thing I hate about lifting the collar up just a little bit is for some reason, random strangers like to come up and just pull your collar down. Uh, I uh, can't tell you how many times this happened to me at church. Stop that. Stop it. Um, but I popped the collar just a little bit. Uh, I elevated the look. And what I did was, especially, again, if you are a hippie, um, that's one reason why you don't like to tuck your shirts in is because you are a hippie. Then take this look, wear it down, but then pair it with a great belt. And then if you can see, honey, <laughs> Uh, this cute zebra print shoe. Uh, add something funky to it, especially if it's just a classic, I don't want to say plain, but classic white shirt. Pair with a funky shoe and an accessory. Instantly, you have leveled up something basic 
Uh, so this was our first look, y'all. Okay, guys, so check this out. <laughs> y'all know I get excited, it don't take much. Is this not super duper cute, y'all? This is look number two. Um, this is that same white button down shirt, but this time I have paired it with this lusciously fun skirt. It's got all sorts of colors in it. I mean, as you can see here, it's got multiple colors in it. And then I took this animal print belt um, and paired it with the skirt to help me define the waist. Critical, if you, especially if you're wearing these little silk kind of pleated skirts, you need something to kind of help define the waist to show the difference, the differentiation in shape. Um, so it doesn't matter. This is a, uh, an outfit, a style, a look that will match any body type, any shape, any size, because what you're doing is you're telling your body how you want it to be shaped. So um, you could cinch the waist in a little bit more. I could do the belt tighter, but I did just eat. So this is as tight as it's going to get tonight. Use your imagination. But it is defining the waist. Um, you see the pleats on the skirt. Um, what I did was I took the belt up maybe just like a little bit above the band just to help me get that little cinched in 1920s waist look that I'm going for. Uh, simple jewelry, um, ridiculous hat. Uh, all of these things can help you to elevate something that otherwise would just look basic. So this is a cute, fun look. I paired this first look um, with this skirt with some flats, my flats from Sheen. Again, I'll make sure to drop the link below if they're still available. Um, the hat is from Patty Page. And um, I think the belt I just picked up at maybe one of my local retailers here. Um, the skirt is <laughs> a good city trends fine. Um, I think I paid $9.99 for the skirt. And I forgot to tell you guys earlier that the white button down crisp shirt was thrifted um, as a part of my Goodwill haul. And I think I got the shirt in the men's section for $4. Y'all look at look number two. I love it. I think it's super duper yummy. Okay, friends, <laughs> what do you all think of look number three? This is ridiculous, right? How did we get this look with this basic white button-down shirt? Yes, y'all know I'm in for a good body roll. Come on, come on, y'all. Uh, let's just talk about this. Let's, let's get into this. So, um, you see, I kept this ridiculous hat. I just, I mean, this is gonna have to be a whole nother uh, YouTube session, I'm just saying. Uh, but I took the white shirt, simple white shirt, and it started off where I took it, not buttoned, I took it, I took it and tied it here. But what I want y'all to notice is I also took that skirt that was a skirt. I'm just trying to see if you recognize it. I took the skirt, pulled it up, made it a sleeveless dress. The length, as you can see here, um, the length can handle it. I made it a sleeveless dress, baby, get into it. Then I'm gonna lift this up. I took the collar and tucked it in. I just did a simple fold. It's cute like this where it's sweet, but as you can see how I styled it was, I loosened the knot enough to give me some give and I just slid it and there. <laughs> Uh, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, and let's talk about this funky shoe. I, I feel like every time you're trying to style a white shirt, it is a blank canvas for you to insert some ridiculousness. I, I said it. This funky mule that's got like a little bit of tulle and polka dot and it's something I could literally wear year round paired with this skirt that's now a dress, uh, this button down that's now an off the shoulder paired with this hoops honey and this hat has given a whole new look to this simple white button down shirt. Baby, I already know this is yummy friends. This, this is good and yummy. Okay, y'all, so check out look number four. Uh, this is so sweet and cute. So what I did here with this look was I took like a dress I normally could not wear to church, for example, or to a women's luncheon. Um, and maybe it's a little bit more formal, um, but 
I, it, I just maybe not feel comfortable with the spaghetti straps showing or if it's strapless. So I take this white, crisp white shirt, I take it and I tie it up a little bit underneath the waist, underneath the bust line rather, above the waist. And this is so cute, y'all. It's got pockets, uh, but this still allows me to be um, chased. <laughs> This still allows me to be pure. But if you want to take something and maybe you don't feel as comfortable wearing your spaghetti straps and your strapless stuff out in all seriousness, uh, this crisp white shirt is just a good way to put this on top of something that maybe you may not otherwise feel comfortable wearing. And then eventually you'll see that this is not something that needs to stay tucked in the back of your closet. This is something that you can wear, honey. Just bring out that good old white shirt. So as you can see here, I've got multiple ways. The first look, I'm tying it behind. I'm taking the white shirt and I'm just taking it and tying it behind so that you can see the full spectrum of this super duper yummy dress. Honey, it's got pockets. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and I tied it in the back. Now you can see where I just did the tie where I went underneath the bust line, just a little bit above the waist. Um, paired it, of course, with uh, my favorite accessory. <laughs> Do y'all see this? Uh, I put it with the hat, and notice I even styled the hat differently. I didn't go back with the hat. Um, I went just to give it a little bit of a Kentucky Derby ridiculousness look. Oh, it's so yummy. But if you can see here, um, I've styled it in multiple ways. And honey, if I can do it, you can too. So check out look number five. Honey, this is giving. Listen, I took, I went back to denim. We started with denim and we're going to end with denim. Um, I took these luscious, luscious bella bottom jeans yes i did friends and paired it with the simple white shirt um got a bralette underneath and some people well you know you you should button it all the way and well listen everything is not for you to wear to church sometimes you can be a little bit more risque with your style um if you know the appropriate setting how about that how about that? So um, I unbuttoned it a little bit more. You can put different color bralettes underneath. Um, you can get yours from Sheen. I got mine from Ross. I think they were like $4.99 a bralette. Um, and it just allows you to do a little bit more with a classic white shirt. But here you can see I'm styling it up with these awesome bell bottom high-waisted jeans that literally everywhere I go, I get stopped and asked, where did you get your bell bottoms? It's just a good play. And again, it's highlighting the groceries. <laughs> yes, it is. And you want something, you want a good jean that's going to define the waist, but especially if you're going to pair it with a classic white button down shirt. Again, I paired it with um, just this classic hat. And what do I feel about hats? I think I am seriously going to do maybe my next one or two um, YouTubes are going to be just solely dedicated to hats because um, I have so many people ask me about them. Um, main colors I think you should have should be a cream hat, um, a black hat, and maybe one hat that's camel um, tan. Um, that way, throughout the year, no matter what season it is, winter, spring, summer, fall, uh, you can take your accessories and mix and match them, and you can be stylish all year round. But do you see how these bell bottoms are given with the simplicity of the white shirt? Got the sleeves rolled up, um, and I love the fact that I got this in a men's fit because it gives me the versatility. I can tuck it tight. I can wear it wide. I can belt it. Um, and it still gives me the feminine look, but it gives me a little bit uh, more uh, than other looks. But yeah, this is what you can do with a classic white shirt. You got one in your closet. I know you do. Pull it out. And now you got some tips and trips, tricks as to what you can do to style up your classic white shirt. All right, people, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you again for joining me for Ashley Does It All. We're on this channel. We focus on beauty, style, fashion, and inspiration. Hope you enjoy all the style tips today. Listen, many of you are new to my channel. Make sure you are subscribing. Please like, share, tag, do all of that. I want all that good stuff, all that good stuff. Uh, help us to grow this channel, you guys. I do believe that um, Ashley Does It All has got some good tidbits for everyday fashion with a little function in between. Thanks for watching, y'all. See y'all next time.